What's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking in a dielectric material epsilon is equal to 5 epsilon naught the potential field V is equal to 10 x square y z minus 5 z square v determine E, D, P and rho v. Now let's look at the first one. First we have to find what is E values. E is the electric field that can be calculated using negative del v. Okay. Since we have the v provided it's easy to find it's going to be just the partial derivative of v with respect to x, y and z. So let's go ahead and do that. Parcel derivative of v with respect to x plus parcel derivative of v with respect to and the direction is ax. Parcel derivative of v with respect to y, ay plus parcel derivative of v with respect to z, az and that's it. And now we have to just plug the function. So this is going to be what? Negative. Parcel derivative of v that's going to be 10x square yz minus 5z square divided by partial derivative of x then actually with respect to x partial derivative x direction and partial derivative of 10x square yz minus 5z square with respect to y plus partial derivative of 10x square yz and this is in the ay direction yz minus 5z square with respect to z in the z direction okay now we have got this one and if we simplify and uh, find the derivative and simplify we are going to get negative 20 x y z a x minus 10 x square z a y minus 10 x square y minus z a z voltage per meter so this is going to be the electric field okay now let's go ahead and do the next question next question is asking you to find out the d now to find the d let's get rid of this one to find the d we use this equation d is equal to epsilon e and we know that epsilon is equal to 5 epsilon naught so this is going to be what 5 epsilon naught e is this one we calculated e that's negative 20 x y z a x minus 10 x square z a y minus 10 x square y minus z a z okay and uh, epsilon naught is basically this value five times this epsilon naught we can replace this epsilon naught value with uh, this one 10 to the power of minus 9 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by 36 phi that's the x epsilon naught value so if we plug it in this equation and find calculate this one we are going to get 0 0.0 actually 0 0.88 for 2 xyz xyz in the x direction minus 0 point 0 point 0 point 4421 x square z and th there should be a negative here and x square 2 1 x square z in the y direction minus 0 0.4421 x square y minus z in the z direction okay and multiply by 10 to the power of minus 9 or we can instead of writing that we can finally say this is nano coulombs nano coulombs per meter square so that's going to be the d value that's the d answer and the next question is asking for p okay now let's get rid of these two this one and let's calculate p now we have done the b part now let's go ahead and do the c part c part is asking to calculate p p can be calculated using xc epsilon naught e and xc xc is basically epsilon r epsilon r minus 1 now what is epsilon r we have epsilon is equal to 5 epsilon naught and if we divide this one epsilon divided by epsilon naught that's equal to epsilon r that's equal to 5 so here epsilon r is equal to 5 and epsilon naught e let's go ahead and plug the values 5 minus 1 epsilon naught is what epsilon naught is 
36 phi actually 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by 36 phi that's epsilon naught value and e we calculated already that is negative 20 x y z a x minus 10 x square z a y minus 10 x square y minus z a z okay after we calculate and simplify this is going to be just for 5 minus 1 that's going to be just for so after we calculate and simplify this one we are going to end up with negative 0 0.7073 xyz ax minus 0 0.3537 x square z ay minus 0 0.3537 x square z actually x square y minus z a z and 10 to the power of minus 9 instead of 10 to the power of minus 9 we can just write nano coulombs per meter square and that's it now we have calculated p and the last one is asking for the rho v now we don't need e for that one we just need d I previously calculated that one but I didn't keep it so let's go ahead and do that okay now let's go ahead and bring that one back first uh, we are looking at the D part right now we are trying to calculate rho v rho v is equal to del D we calculated D in the B part so we just try to plug that one instead of D now del is basically we take the parcel derivative with respect to x y z so this is going to be what parcel derivative to d with respect to x and let's say dx plus parcel derivative of dy with respect to y plus parcel derivative of dz with respect to z okay now we just have to pick up the x y z common like when you cal when we calculate d we had x y z common so we have to do the derivative of x common with x and like that so this is going to be what parcel derivative of x and we calculated that one to be 0 0.8842 xyz times 10 to the power of minus 9 this is x common this was a x common when we calculate that one and then plus parcel derivative of y common that is 0 point negative 0 point 0.4421 x square z times 10 to the power of minus 9 plus parcel derivative of z parcel derivative of the z common that is negative 0 0.4421 times x square y minus z times 10 to the power of minus 9 and finally we ended up with negative 0 0.8842 yz plus 0 0.4421 nano coulombs per meter square and this one was the final answer okay i hope this helps thanks for watching